Hello! In this section we're going to go through the song How Sweet, How Heavenly. It's an older song and it talks of how the church is supposed to be where everybody really loves each other and shows it in their actions. And so it's like heaven. And that's what the song is kind of about. So if you chose this song, I want you to think about these words because they're really important. Even if you don't choose the song, think about these words because they're really important. All right, enough that. What we're going to do here is we're going to go through the song in the vocabulary of it. We're going to go through it and I'm going to teach you the individual words, the individual signs to how to do that. And I'm going to try to help you with uh, how to, you know, I'll tell you something about the sign so that maybe you can help remember it. But, with that said, yes, we have individual words when we speak, but we really speak in sentences. We don't speak in words. We speak in sentences. So as you go through this, I want you to be thinking about how you're going to sign these so that the signs fly flow together. If not, how sweet, how heavenly is the sight. Okay? It's how sweet. How heavenly is the sign. See how the, the signs kind of flow together? That's your goal. That's what you're going to be working towards. But that said, here we go. How sweet, how heavenly. English is a funny language. Okay? I have the word how at the beginning of a sentence. And it seems to me that if I have the word how at the beginning of a sentence, I ought to have a question mark at the end. But I don't. We're using the word how in English here not to ask a question, but to emphasize. Okay? It's not asking, how sweet was it? You know, did it have a lot of sugar? Was it cotton candy sweet? Uh, no, it's not asking that. It's it saying, wow, truly, that was sweet. So in English, we would use the word how to do that. In sign language, the deaf use the word truly to do the same thing. I think theirs makes more sense. Truly sweet. Okay? So truly, if the finger started your chin, and just kind of go up a little bit. How truly, you don't actually wind up pointing. You don't go that far out. It's truly sweet. All right, you've been to the carnival, you've gotten cotton candy, and you've got it on your chin. I know you did. There's no way to eat chocolate cotton candy without getting it on your chin, and you have to wipe it off. All right, that's sweet. How heavenly, again, not a question, truly, heavenly, heavenly. Okay, heaven is an interesting sign. It's probably the one I have the most difficulty uh, communicating. But it's two hands up, okay? I'm doing this in steps here, but it's all flowed together when it's a real sign. Two hands up, the right hand slides under the left hand, and then they come apart. Okay? Heavenly. And it's above eye level. This is not heaven. This is heaven. It's above eye level, okay? Heaven. Is the sight. How sweet, how heavenly is the sight. The. Okay, is. The letter I coming off the chin. The word the is never used in sign language except to say, you know, that is the item I'm looking for. Like if you want to say, that's it. That's probably how they would sign it. They probably even even then wouldn't say the. Okay. There is no sign. There is a sign for the. I'm not going to lie to you, but we don't use it. All right. Kick out the little connective words like the. And truly, you could kick out the word is here if you wanted to. And the deaf would find 
no trouble whatsoever in understanding what it is you're trying to say. Sight. I have my two fingers. They are where the eyeballs live. You thought your eyes were in your head. In sign language, they're on the end of your finger. So you can see. Okay? It's really handy. You can look up. You can look down. You can look around corners. You can see what's on top of the refrigerator. All right? Those are your eyes. So, oftentimes you'll point to your eyes and then go, see. A lot of people, and I'm guilty of this too, will do see with two hands. One hand, two hands, same thing. Okay? When those that love the Lord, when? Ancient, old, uh, uh, commercial, or Tootsie Rolls. You know, you go, when will you get to the middle? And actually, I have how many legs it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. But when will you get there? So you just draw a lollipop. That's how it works. Okay. Uh, those that love the Lord, those. Those is people. Okay. And people, it's just all kinds of people. Everywhere people. All right. This is a sign for them, okay? If you're interpreting, you can use this and talk to the congregation and say, those, like you guys, yeah, you guys out there, the ones who sing singing this song, they, you, yeah, you that love the Lord, okay? The word that there is a connected word. And we have these a lot in English. We have things like, uh, well, like that, and the, and as, and uh, a, and a lot of things that just connect sentences together so they sound right to us. The deaf believers don't need those words. And so we just kick them out. And they have no trouble with that. All right? It also makes it easier because your hands don't have to sign as much. Okay, those that love the Lord, love like you're holding your teddy bear. Okay? The Lord. Again, the, kick out that word, Lord. It's the letter L. Starts on the shoulder opposite your elbow. And then comes down to the hip on the same side as your elbow. Lord. This is a, a sign with an L, it's a Lord. Do with an M, it's a master. If you do it with a K, it's a king. If you do it with a P, it's a prince or a princess, depending on context. What else is there? Queen, Qs. Uh, what else is there? Uh, you know, one of those those title-ish kind of things. There's a good chance that it'll be from this shoulder to this shoulder with some kind of letter at the front of it. Sometimes you can actually make it with names. Like, uh, if you ever get to be an interpreter, and you're interpreting about King Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is a tough name to spell. You put an N on it, and it can be King Nebuchadnezzar, or King David, with a D. So it's a useful sign. That's why I go into a little bit of depth there. Uh, and besides, I'm trying to teach you sign language, not just the song. In one another's peace delight. Okay. In, I've got a cup. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put it in the cup. That's in. One and others. This is a sign for each other. This is you and me and we're mingling. Okay? We're shaking it up, stirring it up. That's what we're doing. Now, that's one another. Peace. Peace. It's kind of, kind of almost like you're going to come up for prayer, but it's, your fingers are out. And you just kind of peace. Uh, peace could be peace. It could also be a command. Peace. That means be quiet. One of the first kid signs my kids learned in church: sit down, turn around, be quiet. All right. Uh, delight. Delight. It's kind of like a bubbly feeling that comes up when you've got something, you've done something really good, and you really like it, and you're proud of it. And, it just feels good all over. That's delight. Okay, this is not delight. 
I don't know what this is. I think this is gas. This is delight. Okay? Get the eyebrows up. Delight has a smile associated with it. Delight has the eyebrows involved. Delight has the whole face. You're having a good time, okay? And so fulfill the word. And it's an open palm pointing off over there somewhere. And it kind of moves towards your elbow and fingers come together. And so. And did I say that English language is a strange language? What does the word so mean? It has no meaning on its own. It is a word that is always connected with some other thought. And in this case, it is an emphasis. Exactly the way how was when we first started this. So, we're going to truly fulfill. Okay? This is the sign for full. This is the sign for fill. Now I get that backwards. I have it backwards, sorry. This is a sign for fill. This is a sign for full. And the way you remember that is when you've gone and you've had Thanksgiving dinner and they offer you that fourth piece of pie and you go, I'm full. Alright? Fill would be to come this way. Full is you're pushing it away. Full. Okay? So fulfill is how that sign term comes about. The word. The word the. Kick it out. Don't need it. Word. And you get the finger. And you, words are little. And they go like a little flag. Okay? I don't know why they chose that for that sign, but that's what it is. Word. Okay? Uh, unless it's a big word. And then it's a big word. And, you lose. and that's actually true. That's, that's why you sign a great big word. This is a regular word. When love in one delightful stream. When, we've already covered that one. Love, we've already covered. In one delightful stream. In one. Okay. One. Okay. There's one. Just like you would. How old are you? I'm one. Alright. One delightful Stream. Anytime you see this motion, it's water, liquid, something, okay? Uh, so you got rivers with an R, oceans with an O, sea. Sometimes you don't put the O's and the R's on there, and it's just the body of water. You know, a little bit of water area would be a lake. That's water. Uh, so if you put them together, one following the other, it's a stream. Through, live long and prosper, okay, knuckles after the person, and then hit palm up, through. If you are not Spock, and you cannot live long and prosper, it's okay to do it through these two fingers. Either one is right. Actually, I find this one easier. I have found, in teaching this over the past 20 or so years, that some Times people can't do that. They sit there and they say, ah, and they go, oh, that's easier. If that's easier for you, do it. Through every, just kind of make an A hand with your left hand. Now, if your right hand is going to be, I mean, your left hand to do this oppositely. But, uh, uh, and I really should, should say something about left hand. Anyway, not right to say it. Every, talking to myself, I'm sorry, you got to hear my own conversation here. Every. Uh, two A hands. The right hand comes down across the knuckles of the, uh, the left hand. Every bosom. Bosom. Okay, it's just your chest. For every bosom. It's really talking about your heart. They're being uh, uh, poetic. Every bosom flows. A stream and a flow are exactly the same sign. Because what does the stream do? It flows. All right. When union sweet, when there you go, that one looks like a lollipop. Union. 
take and, okay and they're tied together there and go in a circle with it that means they're all connected there is unity out there so when union sweet and dear esteem This is one of those times where you really kind of, I, I struggle with signing in English and signing it the way the deaf would sign it, but dear esteem is really nothing more than love. So when union sweet and dear esteem, and that's the way we're going to sign it. We're going to go deaf on this one and sign it dear esteem. In every action glows in, we've done in before, every, we've done every before, action. Two C hands just kind of moving back and forth. And this is a sign for anything having to do with something being done. This is action, this is do, done, did, doing, didding, however you do, all those D words and action okay uh, glows love is the golden chain that binds oh glows i'm sorry glows glows how do i want to do this i want to say glows okay two there are two different ways you can do it you can do shines or sparkles whichever way you think that works best for you glows glows. I'm probably going to sign it this way. Shines. Love is the golden chain that binds. Love is the, kick it out, golden. Top of the ear come down in a Y. Golden. Got it? Practice it. Here we go. Golden. And that's actually turned out to be the same sign as California. So California gold. California. Uh, it, just for uh, sake of uh, completeness, if you touch the bottom of your ear, it's silver. Come out to an S. Silver. Or even if you come out to a Y, it's also silver. Touch the bottom, it's silver. Top, gold. All right. Love is the golden chain. These are your links. Make a link here, a link here, a link here, a link here, a link here. Uh, make as many links as it takes to make the song flow correctly. Okay? That binds. Okay? The word that is a connective. We're going to... We don't need it there. So golden chain that binds the... Don't need it. Happy. All right. Now, happy is up here. It's not down here. It's up high. Your 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 shoulders are actually going to move up a little bit. All right. And there is a smile on your face. If you do not smile, it's a different sign. This is happy. This is throwing up. So unless you want to have something binding you in happy, you know, in throwing up souls. I don't think so. So, make sure you got a good smile on your face when you're doing happy. Souls. Two F hands. And it's kind of... Now, I know this is a sound like, which means it's not real for deaf, but it kind of like so... So, okay, so, above, and just up there somewhere, up there, all right, and you're looking up. It doesn't make sense to go up there. It's up there. Let your eyes follow where you're, you're referring to, okay, and... He 
is now English language. We are so lazy. We have this thing in an English language called a contraction. Why? It's just too hard to say he is. So we say he's. Okay? The deaf have no such laziness and they have no such thing in their uh, their language. There is no contraction. So he is is or he's is signed he is. Now here he I'm going to jump back to where we did those that love the Lord. We're still talking about the same people. I know it seems like an hour ago that we talked about that, but the those, okay, he's, it's going to be the same sign because you're talking about the same group of people. See what I'm saying? He's an heir. Okay, I'm going to do that. This is generations. Okay, so I can go back many, many generations. But if I go back a generation and I get something from a previous generation, I'm an heir. It's kind of like a will and testament. You're my, uh, you're my, an heiress. Okay. So he's an heir of heaven. Okay, heaven. It's a difficult sign to actually describe. It is a single one fluid motion but I'm going to show it to you in three parts so that you can kind of see what those motions are. It's up, right hand slides under left, okay, and then they come apart. Okay, heaven. And heaven is above the eyes. This is not heaven. This is heaven. Heaven is up here somewhere. Who finds his bosom glows with love, and he's an heir of heaven? Same group of people. Who finds? Okay, the word who here is referring to the same group of people that he's referring to, it's referring to the same group of people that those are referring to. It's the same sign all the way through. Find. Find is one of my favorite signs because it makes sense. You could, uh, the way I like to best describe this is you open up a bag of jelly beans and you pour them out on the table and you go through and you go, oh, a black one, I found it. And you go through and you pick up, find all the black ones because you know the black jelly beans are the best jelly beans. Okay? Find. It's that motion. And he's an heir of heaven who finds. His bosom glows with love. His, actually at this time, his, open palm. We didn't talk about pronouns. This one doesn't have a whole lot of pronouns in it, but pronouns are easy. You, me, we've been using pronouns since we couldn't talk. You know, he, she, it, 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 you, me. Pronouns also have possessive form, you know, yours and mine. And it's exactly the same positional, directional kind of sign, only to with an open palm. So, his bosom glows with, and it's just two A hands coming together, with love. All right. So, I think I went through that a little bit fast. You may have to go through this more than once. Go through it, and what I want you to do is, when you feel like you've got the signs, I want you to have a, you know, the paper there in front of you, or the song book in front of you there, and go ahead and read like this. How sweet, how heavenly. Okay, how sweet, how heavenly is the sight. Let's do the whole thing. How sweet, how heavenly is the sight. Look up, close your eyes, and go, how sweet, how heavenly is the sight where you start to put those words together and do this before you go to the next video.
Okay. In the next video, we're going to go through and we're going to sing the song really, really, really slow. All right. Uh, but we're going to run it all the way through, beginning to end, so you can practice it beginning to end slowly. But before you go there, do this thing. Do it where you go through line by line, closing your eyes and signing the words together. Okay. And if you can't remember it, don't be afraid to go back and look at it on the video. All right. Uh, don't get frustrated. You can do this. But do it in sentences, and then when you go to do the next part, you're going to find it so much easier. All right. Okay. That's all for here. Uh, I'm going to let you go. You have a good time with this. I'm looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Thanks.